Hi, this is Professor CC19, and today we are playing level 302 on our quest to the end of Candy Crush Saga, where we have 50 moves to collect 2 hazelnuts and 2 cherries. Now, it's not too hard to beat this level, and it's also not too hard to fail on this level. The main issue I have with this level is it is incredibly boring. You have six different colors on the board. It's a very slow-paced level because we have to break through all of this five-layer thick frosting. We have some coconut wheels to help us, but they are also surrounded by five layers of frosting. And we have to be careful not to switch our ingredients over too far because only the center five columns accept the ingredients. So yeah, not my favorite level, but it's a very simple level. Strike the frosting in the center, trying to remove it, trying to get more space so you can bring the ingredients down. And um, since the frosting in the center occupies such a great space, it's not too hard to hit. Um, it takes a while to completely remove, though. All right, here's a wrapped candy. That's pretty good. Um, don't necessarily want to scooch it over. I want to actually keep it w right where it is. A lot of the time on this board, you will have very few moves you can make. Um, I guess that's another reason why it's kind of boring. All right, so we got a reshuffle. I think that's actually pretty good this time, because it's giving us a lot more opportunities to strike the frosting. All right, we're sending off this wrapped candy. It's taking out frosting down here, which is good. We're getting closer to activating or to opening up those coconut wheels, which we can then use. But once again, getting to that point where we might see another reshuffle. Yeah, we only have a couple moves here. They don't really have much of an impact. Yeah, this level is just really slow. In fact, I want a reshuffle here because I'm not really doing very much. All right, here we go. Starting to strike the frosting again. All right, it's a little better. We're working our way through slow and steady. And there's the reshuffle I was looking for. That was actually pretty good. It struck some of the frosting on the reshuffle, and it gave us another opportunity for a striped candy. Yeah, this level you don't have very much, uh, you don't really need very much strategy to be. You just need a lot of uh, patience. That's what I'll say. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's pretty good. Striking more of the frosting, making a few more specials, which is also good. Really, I'm hoping that we can get to these coconut wheels pretty soon, because we're down to 20 moves. We've removed quite a bit of this frosting. Only have this central area left. Actually, if I can use those coconut wheels at the very end, once the frosting is only one layer thick, it will help me more because it will bring the ingredients straight down. Alright, so all frosting removed on the right side. And I just have a little bit left on the left. I also have a vertical stripe candy here, which is really good because that will bring my hazelnuts down instantly. Alright, sending this off, we've collected both hazelnuts. Now, we just need to collect our cherries in the final seven moves. Looks like we're about ready to open up the coconut wheel, which we did. And now, if I scoot this over, what columns will it, will it affect? It'll affect one, two, three. So it will not reach our ingredients. I think it's the best move anyway. It's going to strike more of the frosting, hopefully allowing me a clear path to the bottom. All right, so our ingredients are now free. There's no more frosting in the way. We just need to collect them. I think I can do it. I see one, two, and we just need to send this off, three. Okay, there we go. First playthrough, I got this done. But it took exactly 50 moves, and I had only 50 moves. So definitely not my favorite level. It's um, a little tricky, not too hard, 
not very easy either. It's just very slow paced. And frankly, I'm glad I got it done here because um, I really wouldn't want to play it again. So um, just my opinion. If you like this level, that's good. You could play it. But this is how you get past it. Simple strategy. Wherever you can, strike the frosting. Try and use those coconut wheels towards the end. But if you're stuck, they can be a great way of possibly shaking up the board and giving you new opportunities. And remember, you have those lollipop hammers and switch hands if your ingredients are very close, but there are a few candies in the way at the bottom. So if you found this video helpful to you, please subscribe. If you're stuck on any particular level of the game, please leave a comment below. I will try and help you. And as always, thanks for watching.